<clears throat> so, uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Sparkman. I'm the uh, general manager, vice president of the analog business unit at Spansion. Um, I'd like to talk to you about one of the new products we've got. Uh, we call energy harvesting. Um, a different take on uh, on power management, if you will. Call it uh, Spansion's uh, one company campaign um, against batteries. And against batteries, you might say. Well, what does that mean? Well, let me give you an example. In my hand, I'm holding a location-based product. Uh, this particular product can tell the distance it is away from this iPhone and actually sends a signal to the iPhone to find out how close or how far away you are. Um, these products are going to be used in retail applications when, so they can tell how close or how far away you are from a product. For example, let's say that a grocery store wants to give you a discount on a can of soup. If they know that you're close to that can of soup, they can offer you that discount. And this product can tell when your iPhone is close or far away. So as you can see now, this little orange circle is very close to the iPhone or very close to the bottom. And yet when I move this further away, you can see the circle gets further away. And this tells the entire system how close or how far you are away. What's unique about this particular solution, however, is that it harvests all of the energy to provide for the circuit itself from the environment. This little solar cell that you can see on the top here provides all the energy required to transmit its location to your phone. Um, if you open up the product itself, you can see that there's no battery in here at all. There's an RF circuit, there's a small microprocessor, and a very sophisticated power management device which can harvest the energy from the solar cell to provide all the energy it needs. So when a customer would ask you, what's the battery life of this particular beacon? The answer, infinite. You can imagine there's going to be millions and millions of applications for such a device. Uh, think about high, uh, HVAC applications, so uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, where you could have sensors that would be placed all around the air conditioner. You'd never need to replace the battery. Consider something like a security system, where you could have uh, all of the uh, uh, sensors inside of your windows, uh, where you'd never need to replace a battery. Even think about an automotive application where you could eliminate the wires and the battery, where the sensor information could be transmitted directly to the engine control unit of the car. Again, no battery required, no wires required. We believe this is an, a very new type of uh, application, a new type of sensor, and of course, powered by energy harvesting. There's a couple of different ways that you can take this technology and experiment with it. Uh, this, of course, is one of our customers has developed this as a final application. But we've got a demo kit we call our starter kit, where you can see here's the, uh, the same application we had before uh, with, uh, with the solar cell. Uh, we've got additional. You can see that with just a, a flex of the piezo-resistive circuit here, it can transmit to the computer, um, giving you the caution sign. In this example, for someone would be driving over a particular sensor, and you would know that this is, uh, this is something that's going on. The energy harvesting device uh, can actually take two different energy sources, unique to the industry. We're, in fact, the only company which provides two energy sources. So you could have both the solar cell and the piezo-resistive device uh, to be able to power your particular circuit. Uh, in that case, consider something like a watch, where you could have a solar cell on the face, plus the motion of your hand would be enough to power the battery. Again, unique technology from Spansion, energy harvesting. Please uh, check it out, order samples, or order one of our kits.